brothers and sisters of light, and now welcome, welcome, welcome to my face, my face, my comment section, track you with the minutes, if you go over 10 minutes, if it's something very important, because everything I say is fucking important. <laughs> you hear the alto in my voice? I should be a singer. Yeah, I could change my pitches and shit pretty nicely. I should be a singer or some shit and a rapper or thing. Um, well, brothers and sisters of light, uh, those those sisters and brothers on the light side who are blinded by religion, who basically don't like research, who are brainwashed by the medieval paganism connected to the Hellenization, Greek Romanization of societies who believe in fire and brimstone or purgatory or limbo. And then there's those who are on the left, who are the far and few between, probably under about one third of the world, or even less than that. Okay, they say it's 144,000, but of course they are ship shifters. They are not human. They are special individuals, unique, and they have the knowledge. Period. Okay. <laughs> if you have any comments, suggestions, or insults, you put it down below. Questions, comments, suggestions, or roasts, you put it down below. A little while ago, somebody said that I was the mole man. I said, oh, shit, I should take that. That's a good-ass name because I got a mole there, and I don't want to get it removed because it makes me look kind of tough, right? <laughs> but, of course, I'm a tough guy. Yeah, I am. My my stepdad used to punch me. He used to be 300 pounds. He could never knock me out, though. That was kind of strange, though. Maybe that's the reason why I hear certain voices and specialized in, in, in schizophrenia or some shit, okay? <laughs> Punching beach, she looked a punching bag. I didn't feel nothing. I didn't have space. I was like fucking Mike Tyson. Like fucking iron and shit. Iron Mike. I couldn't feel nothing, okay? My mom was like Bruce Lee and shit. She used to smack me with a thousand hand slaps, okay? <laughs> I started blocking that shit. That's right. First, you see that I see thunder and lightning. But I got tired of it, so I put my hand up and I started blocking her each and every last one of them. Over time, I started realizing how fast I was. Faster than her. I was like, oh, I better stop this shit. <laughs> even I wasn't even trying to look and I was blocking my mother. Like, what the fuck am I doing? This is my mom. She's going to punch me. <laughs> so I let her hit me. <laughs> and I fell down the stairs. <laughs> I didn't break a bone in my body. I'm a fucking miracle boy. <laughs> but anyway, I digress from my past life. I had an exciting life, of course. I'm a voodoo witch priest now. <laughs> Ethiopian voodoo witch priest. Nobody messes with me in Ethiopia, though. I used to carry, I, I usually carry me a stick of a magic stick over there. And yeah, you don't want to see that stick, though. Everybody who looks their eyes upon the stick who are evil just, just pretty much dies and dissipates. They get reborn as an ant or a fly or some shit like that. And that's what the voice tells me and shit, you know. But anyway, I digress. But anyway, this video is going to be <clears throat> about angry Black Lives Matter. <laughs> I gotta make this last video because I'm going to bed. And I'm getting sleepy a little bit. Got a little work. I'm still up. But the moral of the story is why Black Lives does not matter. Because this is the confusion. It's because a lot of blacks don't like doing any form of research. Okay, a lot of black lives have usually have too much emotion rather than anger. I mean, they have too much emotion rather than logic. Because when I was a kid, I was picked on by blacks. And I felt the struggle and I understood what slavery was. But then I realized there's one particular thing that separates me from the other Negro. <laughs> and that was just common sense. Okay. <laughs> A lot of niggas didn't have common sense these those days. <laughs> I'd say that I always was curious about my mindset. If slavery really affected them, how come I don't feel the fact that strong? And I was only a kid when I was thinking like this. So it started off basically before that, before the common sense. It started asking, it's called inquisitive questioning, okay? I think it was maybe the voices or some shit. Because I almost killed my dad with a machete at his neck. And a voice told me not to do it, okay? But of course, um, as I heard this voice of reason, I call it reason detra, okay, reason of existence, okay, I did not want to be in a tormentive state, okay, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, what the fuck, man, I'm like, what, you, what am I hearing here in my head, that I have magical powers and shit like that, 
And then I'm thinking about I wasn't being fed. I was getting skinnier and skinnier and shit. You know what I'm saying? There was no food in the refrigerator. I said, I'm a free motherfucker in the house. Couldn't go outside being picked on and bullied on by Negroes. So maybe something clicked. I said, okay, I understand what black, black suffering was, but I wasn't really suffering. That's the strangest part about us. I really, I said, it, and I didn't know nothing about genetics during those days. Okay? So I was like, wait a minute. My mind started to run. It started before that, before common sense, before the voice. It, it, it actually did. Okay? Maybe because it was, I was being picked on and bullied on that caused something. Okay? Then I understood. I still felt that of slavery that existed, but I didn't know how that to attach that to me because of the color of my skin. Think about it. I could not attach the slavery part to the color of my skin, even though my family is black and Indian. Okay. And so I started pondering in isolation. See, through isolation, I've learned and obtained something to kill my stepdad to be free of the suffering and torment. But really, I did not need to do that because a voice told me in advance that you are the one, like Neo. <laughs> I was like the motherfucking Neo, baby. I'm Neo. I'm fucking Neo. So I'm like, wait a minute. How can I attach my color to slavery when I never was in slavery? <laughs> I was never in slavery, but I know my people have. But at the same time, I don't feel slavery. I'm not in chains. I'm not picking any fucking cotton. Because okay? <laughs> I probably wouldn't survive as skinny as I was back in those days. You know what I used to do when I was a kid? I used to wear a big old Eskimo coat in 90 degree temperature. I used to walk around in an eccentric way. People would thought I was a girl and some shit. As a matter of fact, I was hit on by a couple of dudes. I said, hey, bunny, honey, bunny. Because I, I was fully covered up. They just looked at my lips and thinking I could just suck a dick or some shit. And I said, but I was really a boy. <laughs> Seriously. True story. Everything I say is pretty much true. <clears throat> but you don't have to take me literally. <laughs> but of course, I digress. This is a comedy. It's comedy. And it's common sense. And it makes too much fucking sense. That's, when I was a kid, I, 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 didn't, I didn't hear of Black Lives Matter. I heard, I heard a little bit about the Black Panther Party. I heard of the KKK. When I was like six or seven years old, my mama said, when it was snowing outside, she would be like, <clears throat> it's the end of the world, my mom used to say. My mama said, it's the end of the world. Said, and then tomorrow came, and the next day, we still living. <laughs> my mom was bad crazy. <laughs> One day, my mom disappeared for like six fucking months. I mean, we didn't know where the fuck she would. And the only thing that was in the fucking picture was fucking uh, welfare cheese and fucking bologna. Um, a fucking peanut butter and fucking uh, no milk. Spoiled fucking milk. <laughs> well, I stayed upstairs playing video games. ColecoVision, the Vortex, the box and everything. I was like, what the fuck? My mom became aware. Okay. Through isolation, through contemplation, through the voice, that I had no connection to slavery at all. Oh, you may, maybe some of my relatives, my ancient relatives did, but it didn't affect me, even though I had no food to okay. get so how could I really, but as a matter of fact, I tried to try to understand the logic when, when my brothers, that's it, like I said, remember I told you before the voice, before I started hearing the voice at the age of seven, I think it was six. And before I was actually understood what common sense was, I started asking questions about this God uh, character, religion, you know what I'm saying? As the, at the same time, I was being bullied on. So maybe you have to go through a struggle of logic and isolation in order to understand that black lives don't matter after, as you get older. Okay, because I didn't see it. Because my mom told me, if you do something bad, you fucked up and you're getting ass whipping. And I was in the house and I, I didn't do shit bad and I still get ass whippings. <laughs> so that logic was totally fucked up for me. <laughs> I said, how the fuck am I getting fucking whipped? How the fuck am I getting whipped and I ain't do shit wrong? Okay, I said, how the fuck is slavery going to be a fucking suffering, suffering, and suffering, suffering, but I'm suffering because of my mama. Okay, that didn't make sense. I said, if, if we so fucking suffering, we should, we should be treating each other right then, right? And how come people believe in this white Jesus? Why the fuck is Jesus white? <laughs> These questions blew my fucking mind. No one, none, none of those niggas, 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 or niggas can answer me. None of them can answer me. And then I realized I'll be watching movies and shit while I was, when I was a kid and I see white people doing good things for black people and then I see black people doing good things for white people and I'm like, I don't understand this. Okay? 
And say, I thought we really hate white people. Do I hate white people? How can I hate white people when the only pe- pe- people who was good to me was white people and cats? How, how the fuck can I do it? I don't understand the logic in that. And I'm poor. And then I realized something and said, wait a minute. The poorest American is more richer than any African. What the fuck kind of logic? Does that, does that make any fucking sense? Okay. <laughs> you know I make fucking sense, right? So how in the world can I relate to Black Lives Matter when I was picked on, didn't understand the logic of Jesus and no one can answer me, and how the fuck am I supposed to empathize with blacks when I was fucking picked on simply because of the way I looked today, what I wore, and what I dressed? I think there was some kind of a, I don't think it was Jim Crow either, okay? Maybe I'm just, maybe it's just, just genetics, okay? I told you I got German and Indian in me, you know, African, okay? I checked my blood, my DNA, yes. Ancestry.com, you want to go there, you can go there. It costs $200, it's fucking expensive, though. Alright. <laughs> so how can an intellectual black Negro mixed child, or even any, as a matter of fact, any other race, relate to something if they're isolated in a box, right? And say, how am I attached to that? Okay. You know what it is? I'm presuming it's just a euphoric experience, a, a, a euphoric experience of fear. Fear based. Because my wife, she listens to that Jesus shit, and I said, if you're so smart, then you shouldn't believe in Jesus. Okay? That's just common sense, right? Right? There you go. Ah, I'm Jesus. I had no I have no sense in my life, motherfucker. I just tell you like it is. Okay? I do some manipulation for the, for the greater good, but it ain't for the fucking devil. Okay, because the devil is not a liar. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. The devil was throw. God allowed Satan to exist to create more chaos. Does that make any sense? The Corinthians 2, 2 Corinthians says we will all eventually become angels as one. We will rule the angels. Do you read the Bible? You, I don't think you would. My mom forced me to read the Bible. It completely baffled the fuck out of me at the time. Okay, so why does black like when blacks are actually killing one another? When I was back in the eighties and the fucking seventies, I'm a seventies baby. I'm fucking old. Okay, and I told you I'm more special, dude. I told what did I tell you? How many times can I tell you that shit? I see niggas killing each other all the fucking time, but then I realized that Italians also killed each other. Okay, the white man also killed each other. Okay, the Pakistanians killed each other. Okay. Okay, there was even race wars. Okay, female versus male. I said, so that means it doesn't really matter. All races had one another in slavery. So what the fuck am I attached to? Okay, do you see Chinese people who was pushed in the, the concentration camps during World War II? What about them? Okay, are they seeing Chinese lives matter? I said, how pathetic can we be? How can we just fucking forget? I understand about the chains. I understand that part of our ancestors was thrown overboard over the Atlantic Sea. Okay, that's why hurricanes is coming and getting revenge. Okay. <laughs> so I don't understand why, why we getting all our events through nature. We don't have to worry about that shit no more. We just we about to just say fuck it. We gonna use logic, okay? And even though we we did have Wall Street, and even though we did try to build things and then knock it down, it doesn't matter. That happened to their own people too. They put their shit. They put their shit on own. They only had they had problems with their own people at one time. So why the fuck is we still stuck on Black Lives Matter and shit? I don't understand that. I drive it, and you got black people killing one another at an alarming rate, more than the, the Caucasoids. Okay? I don't understand that shit. And when you try to talk to that nigga, he just looks at you like you don't. You're not down with the cause. You're a coon. I've been called a coon before. I was called a coon. <laughs> I was never a fucking coon. I just made sense of they think you motherfucker. We gonna kill you. You made too much fucking sense, you fucking Oreo bastard. You ain't truly a nigga. I, we are Pan-Africans, and you are not. You see what I'm talking about? Now you know black lives matter. It's all lives that fucking matter. Okay. Now, the struggle is to feel empathy. That's I think they, they want us to feel empathy for certain individuals who get caught. But what about white people? Nobody talks about when the cops get killed. Nobody talking about when uh, white people get killed. What about that? Nobody's talking about that shit. There's more white people than black people. Black cops are killing white more white people than black people. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some evil ass fucking cops out there who kill white and also blacks. Okay, they don't like thugs. Okay, they don't. They don't give a fuck what color you are. They will kill white or blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Mexicans. They don't give a fuck. Okay, 
but you want to focus on a small percentage of those who probably deserve the karma, that doesn't make it. And nine times out of ten, those niggas was talking too much. So they was resisting arrest. I don't. And then they always shoot each other and fucking talk shit all the time. I don't. The Black Lives Matter. That, you, now you see the reason why. Okay, the movement is basically Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, which came from Martin Luther King frame from Mahatma Gandhi. And you still want to say Black Lives Matter? Okay, what about the Hindu lives? What is the East Indian? Okay, what about the Indians? The Indians is all pretty much extinct, and they had but slaves too. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with people these days? That doesn't make sense. Shouldn't the Indians be saved? Indian lives matter. What the fuck is going on in this country? This doesn't make no sense. And when you're trying to talk to a nigga, they don't want to listen to you. It doesn't matter. We should try to respect everyone at the time being. If you don't talk about it. Like Morgan Freeman said, if you don't talk about it, it disappears. Okay, do you want a do you want a month? Do you want a holiday? Okay, the white man he asked the white man, do you want a white holiday? Okay, but you know white man got plenty of holidays today, Columbus Day or whatever. I'm gonna say no. Do you want a Jewish? What about the Jewish people? Do, do, do they want a holiday? They say no. They don't want a holiday either. Okay, so they got Black History Month. We should be happy with that at least. <laughs> at least that that's a whole month. Okay, I'm like, damn, we so unappreciated. No, not me. I'm, I'm, I'm Negroes. I ain't no ordinary nigga, motherfucker. I'll fuck you up, okay? I'm not an ordinary fucking Negro. All right? So peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light. Now, understand that logic doesn't make sense, okay? When you got niggas killing each other all the time, and we got a, a month of celebration to try to remember our black history, and, and then we got to understand we even learned it in school a little bit. We learned about slavery in school a little bit. Even though it was a little twisted, it doesn't matter, you know. All races had one another under slavery. So get off the Black Lives Matter and start talking about all lives matter. If you say that, that positive energy will feed. It will just resonate, that positive energy. Once you say black, you're actually forgetting about blue. Okay, You're talking. See, Black Lives Matter tends to be focused on the small, small percentage. Okay. Statistically, by research fact, the small percentage who was just sitting there, and they probably deserve the karma and dharma. That's another video. That's a motherfucking another video, motherfucker. You sitting on the corner playing with a fucking toy gun, and you got a racist cop, and it happened to have happened to run into a racist cop. You a military black man, and then you happen happen to say yes, sir, to a motherfucking cracker who likes to hear that shit. And he wants to pop you in your knee. You just happen to have bad karma. Stay the fuck out of the streets. <laughs> Peace and love to you, brother. This is later. Welcome, welcome up to my page. <laughs> and I am not a coon. Peace.